So over here we got, uh, I think, 11 bullet holes total. And uh, the way it came in is, you can look on the inside when we go in, they all didn't go through. So I have a feeling that it was uh, just a one shot, like buckshot sort of caliber. It wasn't multiple shots. Because that grouping seems too tight. And where they shot from was the street, right straight down the driveway right there. Um, and it looks like they shot from the same spot in the street, whoever it was. They shot that one side there on this corner of the house, and then they shot through, the rounds went through this bush here, and into this window over here, and went through the window and lodged in the plaster inside. in there. It's cool, man. I wasn't born in the barn. Mm -hmm. And then uh, over here, we got these. Uh, this is seven here. So seven of the 11 came through on that wall and then moved on up through this here and went through that window out there. Did you recover any of the rounds? Yeah, we did. They weighed out to about uh, something close to about 22 caliber. So I don't think that somebody actually went with a 22, although it could have been possible um, to do that sort of Damage shooting. Through two walls and everything, or through that wall. And, and I think uh, you know, shooting, going to shooting ranges myself. That's a pretty good grouping if somebody's shooting multiple shots from the street at night in a thunderstorm. So that's the reason I kind of thought it was buckshot. Um, was it copper jacketed or just lead? Uh, I believe it was just lead. So it was actual balls, like not rounds? Yeah, they kind of uh, deformed. and They were just like uh, fragmented pieces in some places. But after that happened, like uh, John told you earlier, he was asleep, it was at night. You know, we went out and checked the next morning. We didn't find shell casings in the street. And obviously we didn't bother calling the police because what are they going to do other than just fill out a report and say, okay, you know, it's here's your report and have a nice day. You know, they're not going to solve the crime. So you got to be proactive. That's why we put up lights. We put up cameras. Because um, if you're going to do something that's actually going to stop it, you have to do it yourself. You know, you kind of have to look out for yourself. That's the only way anything's going to happen. So it is... Uh, in some sense, it's a it's a unique place because, like a woman said at the gas station, you keep to yourself and people leave you alone for the most part. That's kind of how it is. It's like you just, you just keep to yourself, you do your own thing, and people leave you alone, except for occasionally the police. And they're the only ones that will come in and just start trouble most of the time. So, a lot of people around here are more scared of the police than they are the uh, the gang members and people who might be robbing people, might be shooting people, might be breaking in and burglarizing houses. So, that's, uh, that's something for sure.